Two things, if you're looking for a coach, and I'm assuming that you are a competitive player, right? Meaning that you're either playing some tournaments or maybe some league stuff or even just some serious practice matches. And if you want to get some help with your game, you got to find someone who will do these two things. Number one, who will say to you, all right, I'm going to help you, but I got to watch you play one set first. And what that means is they are going to watch you play a set. They're not going to say a word during the entire set and they are going to record it on video, right? It's going to, <laughs> it's going to get recorded on video and however long the set takes, right? It might take, might take half an hour. It might just be four games. I mean, you know, the, the timing might just be, all right, let's play four games. You serve twice, you return twice. And whenever I do that, what I make sure is that my, my student is on the same side for those four games as for the camera. So I, so I get to see them up close, right? And really what I'm looking for in, in, in that initial lesson, that, that initial coaching session is what are their instinctive shot choices. And that's really thing number two that you want your coach to do when they first see you is, is to be able to really evaluate and analyze what are your instinctive shot choices in specific situations and what are your next court positions. And the fastest way to become a better player is rather than just going to someone and say, hey, can you fix my forehand? Hey, can you fix my topspin second serve? Well, let's first see what you're doing rather than just starting to feed your balls out of the basket and go, well, here's kind of the, the theoretical technique. No, I want to see what you're doing uh, with it, with whatever your whatever that, that stroke is that, that you're talking about. I want to see what you're doing with it first. Very often what I find out is that the technique is, is good enough you're just going for the wrong target at the wrong time at the wrong from the wrong part of the court. All we got to do is just clean that up. But your forehand technique uh, is fine. Your forehand technique, if we clean it up and you're still going for the wrong target at from the wrong part of the court, it's not going to make any, any difference at all. Um, at all. So it's those two things. Have you got a coach who's got video? who is willing to watch you play for at least four games, a set, whatever, not say a word, take some notes. And then thing two is when you're done, sit down with that recording and go through it and start to make some observations on shot choice, depending on where you are in the court and the next best court position. All right. I hope that is helpful. I mean, for, if you've got any questions on the stuff, just go ahead and shoot me an email at brent at webtennis.com. And look, if you haven't already done so, I want you to stop over at webtennis.com. There is a link down below in the description area. I want you to pick up my free course. It's a 20-minute course. It's a video. It describes in detail what are my four parts between points routine. And the reason that is so important that you get really good at this the between points time in the match and the side change time in the match, all of that is around 80% of the entire match. Only 20% of the time are we actually playing points. So the thinking here is that if you manage that 80% of the match really well, you tend to play a whole lot more consistently better in the 20% of playing points. So guys, right down below, webtennis.com. Click that link. Go on over if you've not picked up that that free 20 minute uh, four parts between points routine course. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Again, any questions, any feedback, any comments, you can leave them down there in the, in the comments area down below. And as always, it's time right now. Yes, we got to get out there. We got to help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys, see you again next time.